welcome to my channel so i'm going to be showing you how to draft corset in two ways so i've already drafted out my basic bodice pattern except the that so i'm going to mark my bust my nipple to nipple measurement and i'm going to go one inch below my bust point and i'm going to join these points together with a straight line so now i'm going to take my darts i'm going to be using one inch on either side of the straight line for my dart that is in total two inches as you can see i have marked that point so now i'm going to be working on the cups so on my bust point i'm going to go up by one inch and i'm going to go in by half an inch i've marked the one inch above and i'm going to go in by half an inch and i'm going to join this point together with a straight line so now i have to extend this line how to get the number of inches to for the extension is to measure your bust point to your under bust whatever whatever inches you get there will be the number of inches you use for your extension as you can see i got three inches so i extended the line from the bust point to three inches above it so now i'm going to be adding half an inch on the under bust i'm going to be adding half an inch for that and i'm going to be joining this point together from the half inch i took on the center front i'm going to be joining to the half inch i took on the other bust so now we're going to be taking two inches from this point if you are very busty i suggest you go with one inch but if you are not so busty two inches is enough and then from that point you are going to join it to the half an inch you took on the under bust as you can see so now i'm going to join these points together can see the points that i'm joining together so i've created a new dart on the under bust you have to take your time to ensure that the curves are neat so now we're going to be creating a curve on top of that straight line extension we made earlier on so as you can see from the center front i've drawn a curve and then from that line extension we made I'm joining it to this to the side. So now we're going to be taking our dart to avoid gaping. I'm going to be taking 0 0.75 inches for the dart there. And we're going to blend this in towards the bust line. As you can see, we're done with the cups. So now from that half an inch we took on the under bust, we are going to extend the line to the waist. On this armhole, on this armhole curve, we are going to go half an inch below that line we drew. We are going to go half an inch below it and we are going to blend this in from the cups. As you can see, we blend this in from the cups to below the armhole line we drew earlier on. So you can see how this was so easy just with freehand sketch you can actually use a pattern master or a curve drill or a french curve if that's what you have but i decided to use freehand sketch just to show you how easy making this corset is so now i'm going to be cutting out the upper parts from the cups itself and i'm going to be showing you what next i will do So now we're going to be applying the bust measurement. So we are going to place your tape here and you're going to apply your bust measurement. The bust is 38. 38 divided by 4 is 9.5 plus half an inch that we took in for the dart. So that is 10. And we have added 2 inches for the sewing allowance. The waist is 30. 30 divided by 4 is 7.5 plus 2 inches for the dart we took in. Then plus extra 2 inches for the sewing allowance. So we're going to join these points together with a straight line. Please watch as I'm going to cut out the corset. You can see how I'm cutting, cutting out the corset.
you have to take your time when you're cutting out a corset so that you don't cut the wrong darts or the wrong parts of the corset. Don't forget to label the parts of your corset. It's very, very important. As you can see, I've labeled my. I'm going to be making a video showing you how to sew all of this together. So stay tuned to my channel, subscribe, like, and share. Like if you've been watching up to this extent, please subscribe. We are done cutting out our corsets and you can see how it is. We've cut out the dots and we've cut out the cups as well. You can see why it's important to label the cups. So I'll go ahead and use the tape to join these pieces together and show you how it looks. So now I'm going to work on the, the yoke. So I just extended the line down to where I cut it out for the down part of the corset. And I'm going to cut out the armhole, the shoulder slant and the neckline and that will be all for the yoke like this is so easy so this is how the corset looks after it joins the cups together and the down parts together you can see how it looks so beautiful so now i'm going to jab the second corset so as you can see i've marked my nipple to nipple and divided by two and i'm going to be taking half an inch on either side for the darts if you notice that there's a difference in this drafting because the dot is ending on the under bust line i did not exceed the uh, under bust line this is because we're going to be using the cups the actual bra cups to draft out the cups on our pattern paper so now we're going to be going up by one inch and we'll go in by half an inch like we did and we're going to be joining these points together with a straight line So we're going to place our cups on this but before that i want to let you know that it's important you go for a cup size that is two size bigger than your original cup size so that it can actually cover your bust properly whereas that cup size will not be able to contain the fullness of your bust i'm going to place your cups and ensure that it is touching the under bust i am going to trace it round all the way to the center front as you can see it should be it should be directly sitting on the under bust and the point on the center front should be touching that half an inch point we took as you can see just watch what i'm doing i've marked it out with the pen so i'm going to trace this out with a marker as you can see i've traced this out with the marker just to show you how it is so now we're going to be going down this line by half an inch And we're going to blend this in and extend the line towards the sides. As you can see, we've marked this out. So now we're going to go ahead and place our cups and apply our post and waist measurements. So now you're going to position your cups like this and they're going to place your tape above the bust point you're going to place this above the bust point and then you're going to apply your bust measurement you're going to mark your bust measurement and then you're going to mark your waist measurement so i'm replacing the one inch i took for the dart that is half an inch on either side and i'm joining the points together so now I'm going to take 2 inches for the sewing allowance and I'm going to also join those points together. So now this is all. If you want to leave your, your corset like this, it is okay. You can go ahead and cut this out. But I'm going to show you how to make a keyhole yoke. So what you are going to do is that you are going to extend that whole line. You are going to extend the line down just watch what i'm doing 
and you're going to draw a curve from the center front to the side of the cups so the neckline is four by three three inches for depth so i'm going to be going down by two inches on the center front and i'm going to be joining this point to the side of the cup just watch as i'm doing this as you can see this is how to make a keyhole yoke and on this point i'm going to be going up by half an inch this is very important to avoid excess on your yoke especially a keyhole type of yoke it is very essential so always go half an inch above when you are cutting your keyhole yoke so i'm going to cut this out and show you how it looks please watch how i'm cutting this Take your time while cutting your corset. Don't rush so that you won't cut the wrong part of your corset. You can see I've cut out my corset and you can see how this looks good already. If you're interested in making something like a tube top, you can leave it like this and you can sew in the dart when you are transferring to your main fabric but i'm going to work on the yoke now so we're going to cut out the yoke as you can see just watch what i'm doing you can see what i'm cutting out i'm cutting the armhole now this is so easy like it's so easy and simple to do ensure you try this out so i'm cutting the neckline now so now the dart I took in, I'm also going to cut that out. This is very important. Please do not forget to do this when you're making yours. You can see the finished look. You can see how beautiful this looks already. So you can imagine this as a corset that you're even wearing on your body. You can imagine how good you look with this. So please go ahead and try this out and show me how it looks. Ensure you take in the darts. To give a perfect fixing on the armhole you are making corset that involves cups always take a dart so right on top of your cups bra cups just take half an inch in and sew it this is to prevent gaping so i'm going to cut the back now so you place the front piece on the back piece and trace out the sides and you trace out the front center front as well and the dots you can see i've marked those points so now for the back i'm going to be going down by one and a half inch and i'll join this with a straight line i'll join this point with a straight line so i'm going to extend the line that i marked for the dots and i'm going to take half an inch on either side that is one inch in total i'm going to mark this with a straight line as well So I'm going to be taking one inch in for the lacing because I want to use a lacing for the corset. If you don't want to use a lacing for your corset, you can add zipper allowance and use a zipper for your corset. It is up to your choice. It's up to what you're comfortable with. So I've gone ahead and cut out the sides. And I'm cutting out the one inch I want to remove for the lacing. As you can see, there will be a one inch space when I transfer this to my fabric and sew it. You can even take up to one and a half, two or three inches if that is what you want. Or like I said, you can leave the one inch and add allowance for a zipper. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video.